Have you ever pondered the broader implications of lighting up a cigarette? Beyond the immediate health risks to the smoker, what are the unseen effects on non-smokers and the environment? Today, we'll delve into the economic concept of negative externalities using the example of cigarette smoking. Let's imagine a bustling city. Cars honk, people chatter, and amidst it all, someone lights up a cigarette. The smoke produced doesn't just stay with the smoker, it diffuses into the air, potentially inhaled by passers-by. This is a real-life illustration of a negative externality, a cost that affects a party who did not choose to incur that cost. Negative externalities occur when the consumption or production of a good impacts third parties not directly involved in the transaction. In our case, the smoker is the consumer, the cigarette is the good, and the passers-by who are subjected to secondhand smoke are the third parties. Output, but the negative externalities of cigarette smoking extend far beyond secondhand smoke. Consider the healthcare sector. Smokers are more prone to a host of diseases which leads to increased healthcare costs. These costs aren't shouldered by the smokers alone. They ripple through society, impacting insurance premiums and taxpayer-funded health services. And what about the environment? Discarded cigarette butts litter streets and waterways, contributing to pollution. The production of cigarettes also places a strain on natural resources. These environmental costs, again, are negative externalities borne by society at large, not just the smokers. So, what can be done to mitigate these negative externalities? Governments worldwide have implemented measures such as imposing taxes on cigarettes, banning public smoking, and launching educational campaigns about the dangers of smoking. A tax on cigarettes, for instance, is designed to reflect the external costs associated with smoking. By making cigarettes more expensive, it discourages consumption and theoretically reduces the associated externalities. Public smoking bans aim to protect non-smokers from the effects of secondhand smoke, while educational campaigns seek to inform the public about the risks of smoking, further dissuading potential smokers. To summarize, Cigarette smoking produces negative externalities that extend beyond the immediate health risks to the smoker. These externalities, including healthcare costs, environmental pollution, and the effects of secondhand smoke, impact non-smokers and the broader community. Mitigating these negative externalities is no simple task. It requires a multifaceted approach, encompassing taxation, public smoking bans, and education. Understanding the concept of negative externalities and its application to real-world issues like smoking is an essential part of economic literacy. It enables us to see the broader implications of individual actions and informs policy decisions aimed at promoting social welfare. So, the next time you see someone light up a cigarette, remember, the smoke doesn't just affect the smoker. It's a tangible reminder of the unseen economic costs that ripple through society.